Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the MSI MPG A1000G PCI-5 power supply. The MSI MPG A1000G PCI-5 power supply features a new type of connector. Yes, it's a 16-pin PCI-5 connector for next-gen graphics cards. We already reviewed the original MPG A1000G PSU and we thought it was a fantastic power supply that offers solid stability, A plus gold standard and uh, quiet operation all at an affordable price. The new MPG A1000G PCI-5 power supply features the same powerful single 12 volt rail at 83.5 amps, delivering a total power output of up to 1000 watts. The power supply does not offer any RGB lighting, but it does come with the 80 plus gold standard and to ensure stability, it's built with high quality Japanese capacitors. Along with the usual flat modular cables, the package now comes with two special cables that feature the new 16 pin PCIe 5 connectors. I have one right here, check it out. The first cable is a 600 watt 16 pin to 16 pin, while the second cable is a 16 pin to two normal PCIe, that's a six pin plus two. As you know, Nvidia will be releasing the upcoming RTX 40 series graphics cards, which require the uh, new 16 pin PCIe 5 connectors. So uh, yes, you'll need a new power supply. And I'm sure AMD will follow suit as well. So with all that said and done, let's put this into our test rig and see how it performs. And of course, uh, before we do that, we'll do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the MSI MPG a1000G PCIe 5 power supply. As you can see, it's 80 plus gold, uh, ATX 3.0 compatible, and of course, PCIe 5 ready. All right, let's take a look inside the box, see what we have. Okay, here we have the actual power supply unit itself. We'll come back and take a look at this later. Let's have a look at the uh, cables. Okay, it comes with a nice pouch and I've taken the cables out already but uh, as you can see you have a bunch of cables here okay first off we have two of the uh, motherboard connectors for your CPU and these are required for high-end motherboards but yeah you have two of them there next we have our SATA cables for your SSDs we have three of them there one two three Okay, next we have a Molex cable there for all devices, such as CD-ROMs and things like that. And then we have um, PCIe cables for your graphics card. We have two of them there. And these are the uh, 6 plus 2 pin. And you get two sets of these for your graphics card. That's the uh, standard graphics card. And uh, we have the 24 pin ATX connected for your motherboard. Okay. Um, this is the uh, standard wall uh, power cord. Uh, of course, this one is the US, but you can get ones, of course, with the UK plug uh, or European plug and so on. And then we have two more cables. These are the special cables, the 600 watt uh, 16 pin uh, PCI 5 connectors there. Um, I'm not sure if you can take a closer look. It's uh, 12 pins at here and then additional four pins right there. Okay, you get two of them. So this is a 16 pin to 16 pin. And this one is a 16 pin to two PCIe uh, 6 plus 2. All right. So these are the cables all included. These are the flat modular cables that come with the power supply. Let's take a look at the power supply unit itself. All right, here we have the power supply itself. It's a nice compact power supply, surprisingly. And uh, here you can see there's the uh, zero fan button here, the uh, on off switch, and of course the uh, kettle lead for your power. And um, let's have a look at the uh, modular connectors here. As you can see, you have the uh, standard 24 pin ATX power supply connected there for your motherboard. 
CPU and PCIe. That's to connect also to the motherboard. Then we have uh, the six pin here for your SATA Molexes and uh, two of the PCIe for your standard graphics card. And then this is the new one, plus 12V HPWR. This is the 16 pin PCIe 5 connector, which you will need to connect to the new graphics cards. All right, looking at the label right here, it's a single 12 volt rail at 83.5 amps giving you a total output of up to 1,000 watt. So very nice power supply. And um, we'll be putting this into our test system and uh, we'll see how it performs. Of course, we don't have a PCIe 5 graphics card or any of the uh, new graphics card from Nvidia supporting the new PCIe 5 connector. But I'm sure once we have those, uh, we'll be able to fully test this. All right, so this is the quick unboxing of the MSI MPG a1000G PCIe 5 power supply. When it comes to power supplies, it's important to have stability at full load, and having a stable 12 volt line is the key. From our full load tests, both the 12 volt and the 3 volt did not drop at all, which is excellent. The 5 volt line, however, dropped ever so slightly. I'm more than happy to say that this power supply should be able to handle everything you throw at it, including of course the up and coming high end graphics cards that uses the latest PCI 5 16 pin connectors. If you're a fan of RGB, then you're out of luck. There's no RGB lighting on this power supply, but it does come with 80 plus gold, zero fan mode, flat modular cables, and uses high quality Japanese capacitors. If you need a compact power supply that's affordable, plus supports the uh, PCI 5 16 pin connectors, for next gen graphics cards, then look no further. The MSI MPG A1000G PCI 5 has it all. It's fully modular, uses 100% Japanese capacitors, and comes with the 80 plus gold certification, zero fan button, and of course, two special cables featuring the new 16 pin PCI 5 connectors. You can check out the full review on our website at funkit.com. And there you have it. That was a quick look at the MSI MPG A1000G PCI 5 power supply, supporting all of the upcoming RTX 40 series graphics cards using the new 16 pin PCI 5 connector. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget, you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews, and hot tips. Until next time, this is Winston for funkykit.com.